What's up everyone, Joey Kasimi here with Incompress.com and in this super quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a list name within Aweber. Now Aweber is just an email management system which allows you to collect and store emails. Uh, so you could go ahead and email them uh, with offers or for your newsletter or whatever you want, right? Now if you don't have Aweber yet, you can go ahead and get it through my affiliate link at www.incompress.com slash Aweber. If you do have it, then, then no worries, that's fine. Let's go ahead and continue with the uh, tutorial, all right? Now, a list name. What is a list name? Well, a list name is the section where you are going to be storing your uh, leads or your list, okay? Now right here I have an example of one of my Aweber accounts for one of my products, which is uh, the Timeline Slicer Pro. Now, as you can see here, I have different lists. I have one for uh, uh, the Timeline Slicer JVs, which is my joint venture partners. I have another one for my Slicer Pro members. I have another one for the exit pop-up people who didn't get the, the offer or whatever and just wanted to exit out. And then I have another one for uh, another product within that specific uh, niche, which is the Timeline Slicer Pro. I offer a collage studios package uh, after they purchase this, uh, the initial um, product, which is the actual Timeline Slicer Pro, okay? Now, you're going to want to create a different list name for each section of a product, if you have multiple products, or if you have uh, let's say multiple opt-in pages or landing pages for like different lists or different niches and so forth. You're going to want to create a different list name Th and that way you'll, you'll be more organized and you won't get lost. You don't want to put everybody in just one list because then you don't know who's who, right? So I'm going to show you real quick how to create a list name, okay? That way you'll know how to create it and then you can name it whatever you want, all right? So the first thing you're going to do, this is the home page of your Aweber back office. So just go right up here where it says create and manage list. It's going to take you here. All you got to do is just go ahead and click on this button here where it says create a new list. It's going to take you to this page, which is the settings page where you're going to uh, edit your information for that specific list. Uh, this little thing here always pops up here. Go ahead and watch the video. Uh, but, you know, just going to go ahead and exit that, bit, that little thing out. Now, um, right here, this is just basic information for that list. So, for example, right here, this is where you're going to name that specific list, okay? Product A, product B, or opt-in page, whatever, or newsletter, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna go and put demo list. If it's already taken, it'll let you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one there, see if it's available, and wow, okay, that one is not available. So let's go ahead and try this one here, and that is available, okay? It'll actually let you know if it's available or not. Okay, right here in the list description, this is where you will put your uh, the information for that list. So if this is a newsletter, all right, I'm just gonna put in here newsletter edition or whatever, okay? Or product A, product B, you know, C and so forth, okay? And then right here, uh, you would put the your name, okay? Uh, right there, it says Joey with T-Slicer Pro because that's the product I'm with. If not, you could just go ahead and put uh, your name, okay? And then right here, of course, the email where you want uh, your leads to contact you if you want them to contact you or for whatever reasons. This has to be a live uh, email. And uh, it's better if it's not one of those free emails like a Gmail, Yahoo, or one of those. It's better if it's a domain email. In this case, one of my domains is timelineslicerpro.com. And I added, a, I created an email uh, for that domain, which is support at timelineslicerpro. Dot com. And then, of course, your contact address. Then right there, number two, this is optional. This is just so if you want to get a notification by Aweber every single time you get an, a lead. Now, this is great for the first time when this traffic is slow, lead generation is slow. But once you start cranking, man, it, it'll be crazy when you're getting 20, 30 leads a day. And then you get in 20, 30 emails, notifications about that. It, it just gets crazy. So I usually leave this at you know, don't do anything, but you could do whatever, you know, you guys want. So once you're done here, go ahead and click on save. And then right up here, 
personalize your list. Now this section here is more for company branding. So if you have a company name, just go ahead and put it right here. If you have a website to that uh, company, go ahead and insert it here. If you don't have a company yet, uh, which most people who are just starting out don't, just go ahead and put whatever the name of the website is. In my case, it's Income, Income Press Blog, and then the website would be uh, IncomePress.com, okay? The email signature here, this is more uh, for more personal uh, branding. So you can put your name here, uh, some more stuff here, like a website and just some more info. I usually don't do anything here. I actually do the email signature within the actual email that I'm mailing out. And I'll teach you in another video how I create email templates. That way you don't have to keep creating the same thing over and over again, okay? Now, right here, number two, I don't do anything with social media here. I don't do anything. That's up to you if you want to go ahead and do it. Number three, I also, I don't even know what this is, so I don't even mess with it. I just go ahead and click on save here when I'm done with this, okay? So when you're done editing, click on save and then move on to step three, which is confirmed opt-in. This here is where you will have the option on whether to go with a single opt-in confirmation or a double opt-in confirmation. Now the difference between the two and what it means is that a single opt-in confirmation means that when a person goes to your website or your opt-in page, they enter their email, they opt in, well, AWeber will automatically confirm their subscription, which means that that person does not have to go into their personal inbox and confirm anything. AWeber will take care of it for you and for them, and then you can start sending them emails right away. Now, a double opt-in confirmation, what that means is that when that person goes into your website and your, your squeeze page, they enter the email opt-in, well, AWeber will send them a message, this very same message that you see here, and then that person has to go to their personal inbox, then they have to go open this very email and click on that link to confirm that they actually went to your website and they actually entered their email and that they actually want to receive your emails, okay? Now there's pros and cons with both of these, okay? And I'll tell you what they are. The single opt-in confirmation, now the good thing about that is that you end up with a lot more leads. I mean, you end up with like two, three, four times more leads than if you were to use the double opt-in confirmation. Now the downside of that is that you end up with a lot less quality of lead, a lower quality of lead, and a lot more bogus and fake emails. And this will actually hurt your ratings with AWeber because every time you send out an email, you're sending them out to bogus and fake emails, which increases your bounce rates. And then AWeber takes a look at that. And then the higher bounce rates are, then you're taking a chance on potentially getting your account suspended and even shut down. And nobody wants that, especially after working so hard on, on driving traffic and generating leads because they will not give you your leads back, okay? Now, the double opt-in confirmation. Now, the upside to this, and this is what I practice. I personally practice the double opt-in uh, confirmation and because it gives me a better and a higher quality of leads because they actually took the time to go to that extra step, go into their personal inbox, okay? Open up this email here that you see here and confirm. This lets me know that they are actual real person and that they actually wanted to receive my emails, okay? Now, the downside to this is that you are going to get a lot less leads uh, than if you were to go with the single opt-in, but, you know, the, the upside outweighs the downside on this one for me personally, because you end up with a higher quality of lead, which means they're real emails, they're going to get through, and they, more people are going to open it, more people are going to click on your links, and so forth, okay? Now, let's go ahead and, and, and continue with this tutorial, because it's gone quite long enough, okay? Now, those are the pros and cons of the single opting and the double opting, and I showed you, or I told you what I personally do. You can use whatever you want. Now, if you are going to go with a single opt-in confirmation, you do not have to do anything here. Just scroll all the way down, okay, and click on this off. Make sure right there that uh, you read that and click on yes. And then all you gotta do is just click on save. That is it. You don't have to do anything else. 
they will automatically get uh, confirmed by Aweber, okay? Now, if you are going to uh, practice the double opt-in confirmation, then you could go ahead and leave this here. Aweber automatically, you know, uh, has uh, their own pre-made text or pre-written text there. But I would go ahead and uh, personalize it a little bit. Like right here, the subject line, instead of saying confirm your subscription, I would say something like, hey, thank you for subscribing. Uh, can you please confirm, uh, you know, the newsletter or whatever it is that you gave them? Okay, right here, some more stuff that you could edit, make it more personal. Okay, instead of right here, you see where it says information from one demo list. Well, that definitely is not going to make sense. Go ahead and, and, you know, personalize it more if it's a newsletter, if it's a product or whatever. Okay, this part you cannot edit whatsoever. So, but that's okay, all right? At least you could do some editing and personalization with the both of these, okay? Then right down here, the signature, you can actually personalize that, and that I recommend you do. Say thank you, uh, Joey Kissimmee, or whatever your name is, and so forth, okay? Now, right here, make sure if it's not on already, go ahead and make sure you click on on, click on yes, it'll turn green, all right? Then right down here on step three, this is very, 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 very important. Okay, because after they click on that confirmation link, right up here, after they click on that confirmation link, they are going to get redirected into a page. Okay, now this is where I would put, um, you know, your domain.com forward slash free thing that you gave them. Okay, I would send them here so they could go ahead and download uh, their PDF report, watch the video, whatever it is that you promised to give them this is where that page and that link should go okay very important if it does if you don't put anything there then Aweber will send their own uh, confirmation link which is really ugly and nasty and it just says thank you for confirming and that's it okay so go ahead make sure you put, have your link ready there and put it there once you're done click on save settings and that's it that's pretty much it guys uh, it's your choice on whether to go with a single opt-in or a double opt-in confirmation I tell you what the pros and cons are Okay, once you're done here, that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is uh, create yourself an email uh, series, a newsletter or whatever, and create a web form so people can go ahead and, and opt in and they start getting these emails from you. But I'll teach you that in another email or another uh, video, okay? That's pretty much it for this one. That's how you create a list name. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you've got any questions, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below and I will personally answer them for you, okay? So with that said, this is Joey Kissimmee. Peace, I love you for free, and I'll see you on the next.